this team's obviously had so much success. How hard is it for you to make sure this team doesn't just kind of show up and think they can just kind of go through the motions because because of the success they've had? Yeah, and I think we ran into that a little bit at the beginning of last season, and uh, I think they realized they can't do that because they turned it around. And so I think they ex kind of experienced that. We're a very veteran team that they kind of experienced that. So we talk a lot. We, we read some books and uh, talk about neutral thinking. So we don't get too high, too low. We acknowledge our past, but don't look too far into the future. I think it's fun, yeah. I think it's really exciting to kind of have a reputation of being successful in the past and maybe people thinking that we'll coast on that, but being able to prove that you know, we're more than just our past success. We have new people coming in this year and we're gonna do big things and it doesn't matter what we did in the past. And this team, it felt like almost daily it was getting some sort of national recognition. A player was being honored, the team was being honored. What's that been like for you? Well, so it's, I mean, I, I'm so honored for the players to get recognized for what they do and, and they've been doing it for two years. Uh, but they also know that none of that means anything until they they do it again so it's very uh it's humbling to see that miami's getting recognized on the softball uh stage and so now we want to go out there and prove it that that it, it's a true representation when i say the alley cummins what, what comes to mind oh probably one of the best hitters in the country uh she you know uh caught uh catches for us and then she, we stuck her in right field. So she can really play anywhere and keeping her bat in the lineup. Uh, she's just one of those, I think she is not flashy, so people underestimate her, but, and that's what makes her so deadly because not only can she hit, she has a really good eye. So, uh, and then she just, she just goes and does her thing and doesn't let anything bother her. Like just the talks that we have from at bat to at bat, like I learned so much from her. Definitely my freshman year, sophomore year, like I, she's obviously an amazing hitter. So learning from her has been a really big part of my success, I think, um, and the team's success. And like the information she gives me from like pitch to, like at bat to at bat is really, really helpful. Pairing her at the top of the lineup has been Carly for the last couple of years. Can you even, have you been a chance to even step back of what she accomplished last year, you know, just in the record books? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Car I think Carly knows that she's always had it in her and then just needed a little bit, uh, a little push. And she wants to be great, so she continues to work. She doesn't uh, settle. Like, after the first season, it was great, and she didn't settle for that. And then after this past year, like, her, her first comment was like, I just want to keep getting better. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to do the same. So it's, it's fun to sit back and watch the successes and then she also knows that she's so great because of the people around her. Like, they can't pitch around her, right? Like, if, if, if they pitch around her, you got Holly behind her, you got Riley, you got Kate, I mean, you got Allie. So it's, she understands what makes her so much better is the, the team around her. What about the pitching staff? Uh, last year, obviously, came into the season with a couple of really good ones. Mm -hmm. um, Courtney's gone, now on the coaching staff. Um, just talk to us a little bit about Bree and what your expectations for her this year. Yeah, so we don't talk a lot about expectations because, you know, that I think that's an extra pressure. There's pressure already. But I think she now knows by the end of the year last year that she can she can carry the ace role. We've always had a 1A, 1B, and she showed that she can handle uh, that at the end, and I think that's what she really, really wants. So really excited about that. Uh, Taylor Turner showed at the end of the year uh, pitching against Virginia Tech uh, in the regionals, how well she can um, do and how good she can be. And then Lorelai, who was a uh, freshman, actually, she was a young freshman, came in. So now this was our first full year with her. So I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. It's definitely different, but at the same time, I feel like um, we've been really prepared to be able to step up and take these roles. And Courtney was so amazing at helping me, you know, kind of always looking up to her and now having her as my coach is just so awesome. It, it kind of feels like we're still the dynamic duo. So um, I'm definitely very excited. It's going to be a little different, obviously, but uh, I still feel very confident and excited because we have her on staff still and, you know, getting the opportunity to kind of show what I've been working for is really exciting. Getting the team ready for MAC play after with so many other of these big games built around it, how, how do you manage that? 
Um, we don't look in the future. Like the Oklahoma Louisville game doesn't mean anything if you don't do take care of business at the beginning or in the max. So um, I think they really do understand that. We don't look ahead. So yes, Oklahoma, Louisville, Oakland are big games, but they don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things till it that moment happens. So we what we do in the preseason is we're preparing. We play tough opponents. Uh, you know, we have Charlotte in South Carolina. We have Campbell who won their conference, went to the regionals. We have uh, Western Kentucky on our schedule at the, right before we play MAC, who, which is a three-game series, which they're an extremely tough opponent. Um, we have Murray State. We're going there this year who also uh, won their conference. So we're going to play, you know, we're th the top just to show, okay, get ready that w when we do hit MAC play, they're also ready for it. Did you even you think this was possible in your first couple of years? No, not even. I mean, if you if you gave me a, a one of those balls that tells you the future and they said this was going to happen, there's no way. Uh, but the reason that I think that this was possible was because of the leadership on the team and the culture that we have. Uh, they all genuinely are so excited when each other succeeds. Uh, so with Court and, you know, with Morgan, who's a pro player, like they like watching her, they generally enjoy that. And then Courtney, who at the end of the year last year was injured, was genuinely excited to see Bree just take over the conference tournament and win the, the MVP. So to see that excitement, it comes from them. And I think that's the biggest thing is that they're willing to care about each other and seeing they succeeding like when Carly if someone walks Carly Spade and someone's behind her Carly doesn't get annoyed she's like go ahead because look who's behind me and that right there is like a sign of just a team unity and that's one big uh, recipe you know a part of the recipe that makes this work what's this team got to do to repeat as Mac champs I think we gotta you know just be ourselves we know we have the talent we work really hard. I think our biggest challenge is going to be ourselves and, you know, always competing to get better with, you know, who we are, not necessarily always the other team and um, just playing the game we know we can play and not trying to either play down or play up to another opponent's um, competition. So just playing what we do best and, you know, focusing on ourselves and getting better every day. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing for us. What do you think it's going to be like to actually step on a field and get a compete against somebody else? Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, that's what we work all fall and all winter break to do. And like the fact that we finally get to do it, it's exciting.